so exciting today to be here at our golf and our tennis and our bocce outing. You know, the St. George Theatre, it's beginning to mean so much more every single day to Staten Island. The program that we offer, the outreach we do in the community. And that's why it's so great to do an event like this, because we get to meet people that perhaps we wouldn't meet. Hey guys, it's Joe Causey, Brooklyn Zone from CBS FM, and we are at the third annual St. George Theater Bocce Golf and Tennis Outing. I gotta tell you, I love coming here each and every year. This allows us to continue with our restoration projects, it allows us to continue with our educational programming, and it's so important that we give back to the community and everyone here allows us to do that. I am very proud tonight to be one of the honorees. The St. George Theatre is a very special place and I know it's a very special thing for Staten Island and the event has grown exponentially. It is fantastic. We have room for some more golfers. Come on in next year. We'd love to have you join us. We will probably have about 250 people for dinner tonight. all and thank you for your generous and continued support and we promise to deliver more fun. When Mrs. Rosemary took over this theater the place was in very very bad shape. The credit has to go to you guys and your family for taking that chance for all of Staten Island. St. George Theater is one of Staten Island's gems. Keep up the good work. We're, we're so happy to support it. We'll continue to support it. I'm really proud of Doreen and Luann keeping the dream alive. Really the most important thing that they've given us Staten Islanders are memories. Please continue your support of this great institution, the St. George Theater. Without the vision of the one woman and her two daughters, this community would have lost one of its greatest treasures. Although we may be honored tonight for having a small part in helping, all of us in this room should be honoring them. These are the people who should really be honored here tonight. They've brought this theater back to life for all of us to enjoy, and they're the real special people here. 